Hey Deckers, we've seen some Steam Deck Wild updates out and about and some random news, so we thought we'd dive in and have a look. Ignoring Jedi Survivor's bad performance here, see if you can notice any of the differences here for Steam OS 3.5. And there's a few things that we want to cover here, but first off, I thought I'd just let you guys have a look and see if you spotted any difference. I'll give you a little hint, I'll swap back to some of our older Jedi footage. You might notice a bit of a difference in the second level overlay. Things have swapped around a bit. We've now got the FPS and graph over on the left hand side. They've dropped Gamescape for just plain FPS. And we have our VRAM figures back. Depending on your screen and where you're watching this, you might have also noticed that things were a little bit different. Yes, we now have HDR options. And if you are docked, you can turn HDR on. And for supported games, you can turn HDR on in game as well and calibrate the brightness to your will. Now, as you saw with Jedi Survivor, this does support HDR in the game, so we were able to turn this on. And the game footage that you were seeing with the new overlay is HDR footage and recorded and captured, and hopefully output for you as well if you have a HDR screen. To get this, you do have to turn it on in the overlay on the Steam Deck as well, and we've also got the saturation controls here which is what you've been seeing maybe on some social media posts and this does also work on non hdr games tales of rise does not have hdr built in but the hdr option does convert it to hdr and it seems to act more like the auto hdr feature of things like the xbox and for those non hdr games we have this sdr content brightness function at the bottom of the display as well and this does also manage the sdr stroke hdr or brightness on the Steam Deck itself. And one of the things that you would have been seeing on the social post was the saturation control. Now by default they actually increase the saturation and the middle level does make quite a difference. You can see here we transition across to no saturation versus the new saturation level. This definitely does make a huge difference and makes it look absolutely fantastic. One of the big points to this over Decky Loader is it does work on external displays. The reason I stopped using the Vibrant Deck version is because it only worked when it was not docked. So the new vibrancy control that's coming in with OS 3.5 and may actually come in a bit sooner is a big improvement over the Vibrant Deck plugin. Lastly, you would have also seen some of the soundtrack plugin. This is a new menu option in the three button menu. And at the moment, this only seems to give options to soundtracks in your Steam library. I'm wondering if this will get patched or updated to add third party media players as well, but it also doesn't play very well with the Decky Loader plugin right now. So if you do want to play around with that, you would most likely need to disable Decky Loader. That is available on the preview channel. That's not a 3.5 feature overall just like the saturation change, but the HDR one is a special channel for OS 3.5, but may come a bit sooner or might not. The HDR feature definitely works very well. Doesn't seem to enable HDR in all games, but for Jedi Survivor and Doom Eternal, it did work. Whereas for some reason, Resident Evil 2 Remake at the moment is not recognizing the HDR option. Let us know in the comments below which of these updates you are looking forward to the most. And of course, we'll keep an eye on Jedi Survivor for patches in future, as well as keeping an eye on the Steam Deck news. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.